guys, my name is Kronos. I'm a DJ and producer from Slovenia and today I'll be showing you how I made the track Bolt from the Blue which is released on Evolution Sounds label and it's a free download. So, this is the project of Bolt from the Blue. Guys, this is my first tutorial so I guess I'll make some mistakes uh, and my English isn't perfect but I'll do my best. Uh, let's start with the break. I can't show you really the whole break together because my CPU will just go crazy and there will be system overload messages. Um, so I'll go sound by sound, layer by layer. Uh, let's start with piano, which is the main element of the first break. It sounds like this. It's actually an EXS24 uh, preset, uh, Steinway Grand Piano, uh, with just some EQ, just a low cut. Uh, and then gain and DJM filter are for automation. Uh, there's some gain automation uh, in the intro and in the build. And uh, I think yeah there's some uh, filter automation in the build but I'll get into that later mm. so yeah the chords are really simple uh, just like this uh, once again Then there's a pad which is playing almost the same sound except that the first bar is an octave higher and it sounds like this. Ah, you see system overload. Yeah. Uh, Actually, it's a Nexus preset called uh, Tokyo Sunset from the Epic Pads. It sounds like this in the original. But it's EQ'd, side chained, and a little bit filtered. Then uh, there are progressive chords, a typical sound for a progressive house song, which sounds like this. And then the cutoff opens. So uh, this thing is bounce, but this is the original one. <coughs> it's a um, silent, it's a vandalism preset from I think Vandalism Shocking Sounds 5 or 4, I'm not sure. An Apollo 11 lead. Uh, there's a lot of automation going on. First of all, volume, then filter cutoff. As you can hear, uh, the filter opens, and uh, in the build also some filter. Uh, about processing, there's an EQ, uh, low cut, nothing special. Uh, again, plugin for the automation, as I said, and then a little bit of compression. Yeah. Uh, and some sample delay to make it a little bit wider. Uh, and then from the break sounds, uh, like chords, there are these strings. Uh, 
uh, yeah, just simple strings, EQ'd, compressed, and gain. Uh, not sure why. Uh, so the whole chords and pads sound like this together. <coughs> You can see I bust everything together and on the bus I have the glue compressor which basically just glues sounds together a little bit I'm sure you know it then there's ozone uh, sorry my computer is slow yeah it's It's an EQ, uh, mid-side EQ, sides are a little bit boost, boosted, and some stereo imaging also, highs uh, are a little bit wider. So this is an OTT compressor, <coughs> it's a free plugin, uh, and it's a multiband compressor. Uh, it makes the sound a little bit brighter in my opinion. And these are the settings I used. Then there's uh, some. There's another compressor. Nothing fancy. Just to get rid of some peaks. To glue the sound together even more. And then the. <coughs> sorry, my voice is not the best. Uh, Kickstart for some side chaining and ozone equalizer <coughs> again mid side EQing uh, to make some space for the vocals here okay now let's move to the bass uh, bass here is real simple uh, it's a sub which is playing these notes Uh, it's just a simple sine wave, EQ'd and gain for automation. Uh, I always put a gain plugin on for automation, for, vo for volume automation. Uh, you can see you can automate volume too, but then it's the problem if you want to change the volume. Uh, so this is the easier way. Um, make a, so when you're doing a mix down you can make things louder or quieter without uh, having to change every dot in the automation it's simpler uh, so yeah it's a simple sine wave and then there's a guitar bass Do something like this. Yeah. Um, and they are bust together. First of all, some zone 5 imager uh, to make sure everything below 120 Hz is mono. You should do this. Doesn't matter with which plugin you do it, but this is really important. Then the glue. Uh, sausage fattener, another compressor and kickstart for side chaining so nothing new uh, I'll try to play everything together here hope it doesn't crash again So there are some claps, they are sampled, but I don't know where from, just simple claps, uh, EQ'd, some sample delay, yeah. uh, I can show it because it's frozen, 
some sample delay to make it wider and gain for automation. Yeah, some automation in the inner and outer. Um, I bust all my drums together. You can see here. Uh, I have the glue compressor on. Drum room. Uh, then this wow gain and DGM filter are for some automation in the build here, but I'll get to that later. And uh, then there's this thing called parallel compression. Um, I won't talk about this too much because it's a topic I could talk about like for a half an hour or maybe even more. But uh, there's a sand going here and another compressor. Uh, if you listen to this solo, maybe where more drums are playing, like here. You can see a lot of gain reduction, high ratio, low threshold. And you just play with the attack. How much of it you live through. And then play with volume of it to mix it together with the dry signal. Yeah, uh, so these are the drums. And you can see it. Here's the melody coming in already. Uh, the build synth so this is the melody uh, I can show the presets right now because I freezed everything uh, but I think this sound is from the original uh, sound bank of Silent called it's a preset called Sky Drops. Uh, just EQ gain again for the automation. Um, and yeah, the cutoff is opening again, like before here. Uh, and this is a, just a super saw. I'm not sure which one. Uh. So everything together sounds like this. About the vocals, actually, um, I yeah, I froze it right. <coughs> the vocals are processed in another project. Here's just the EQ and some gain for automation. Uh, then I have this. It's like a vocal build, just. the end of the vocal part and then here comes the build uh, 